So I didn't have any uh, success cutting off or breaking neatly the, the glass globe on the light bulb. So I had to break it and take it out, but um, it looks okay. I am just going to have to think of some other means of making something to hold on to when I screw it in. Now I've taken this LED light out of a flashlight, a cheap flashlight, and it's a very bright, very bright light. I've been experimenting with different values of resistance in series with the LED uh, array that's in that flashlight and um, I put it on a high voltage power supply and I'm monitoring the voltage that's coming out and the voltage that's across the LED and uh, it's interesting um, I've come out about 3000 ohms seems to be the best at about and it doesn't get too warm it's about um, leave it on for a few minutes and it just gets slightly warm to the touch so I think that 3000 ohm 10 watt resistor is the best choice that's pretty nice and bright so I think I will leave it um, at that voltage that's about 112 volts I can bring it up to about 117 volts. Let's see, 108, 17 volts, 116 volts. And it's putting out about 35 milliamps. And that's a good brightness there. The resistor's getting kind of hot, but this will only be turned on when the door opens. So it's not something that has a high duty cycle. So, and it's in a refrigerator, so the resistor will keep cool. So anyway, I think I'll use this resistor. It's pretty good. So here I'm mounting the resistor in the socket. And right here will um, go the LED. So here I have um, it all hooked up and soldered in and I'm just going to put 117 volts across it there and it gives a nice bright light. I'll turn off the light down and I'll show what it looks like. There. Very bright. It should be more than bright enough to light up a uh, inside of a refrigerator. The light works but um, I'm finding it to be a bit on the dim side for the inside of a refrigerator so I think I will um, do something different. I can see that uh, the compartment in the refrigerator is large enough to hold a full uh, LED assembly from uh, an LED uh, regular uh, light lamp so what I'll do is I am going to put that on that socket and uh, I'll uh, have much more light then I'll put in the original 40 watts equivalent so I've seen in the refrigerator that um, I can put the inside the lighting part of this LED light bulb on that um, uh, socket that um, came with the old bulb. I had previously thought that it would be too small. Uh, the compartment would be too small to put uh, uh, an actual lighting unit from a, a full-size bulb in there. So here we've got, let's see, it's a uh, um, I think it is a 40 watt, if I recall. The equivalent of 40 watts of light. It doesn't use anywhere near 40 watts. It, it uses a couple of watts. Anyway, so I'll cut this open and we'll look at it and we'll see 
what we have inside. So this is what the inside of a 40 watt LED bulb looks like. So what I'll do is I'll take, I'll remove this and remove the wires there and then um, I will take this apart, one that I made, take the resistor out and put this, whoops, put this part here on here and I will have some kind of uh, maybe uh, a piece of plastic to go out to hold it rigid. So this will be sitting like this basically on uh, and then <clears throat> the wires will hook it up to the plug. So this will be facing down. So I think that that would be a good idea to um, and that should work no problem inside the refrigerator as these don't get too hot. One good thing about um, I could get rid of the resistor as this can take the full 110, 120 volts. So here I've taken um, the compact fluor fluorescent, not the compact fluorescent light, but the compact LED light, a new one I took apart. And uh, it's got the lighting element here. You can see each individual LED segment. Um, there's a chip there, and uh, there's a about a 35 ohm resistor there, and an electrolytic capacitor. So I'm going to test this out. I've hooked it up to the socket that originally came with. Uh, the burnt out bulb. I've removed um, the big resistor. It wasn't enough, uh, it didn't give me enough and this assembly didn't give me enough light. So this one gives very good light. It's about 40 watts. There. Let's see here. I can put it on its back to demonstrate the camera. So here, I'll just demonstrate how bright this is. It's very good. So um, that should be more than enough to uh, illuminate the inside of the refrigerator. And I will... Um, Encase that in some kind of, uh, I'll use tape and maybe some epoxy to insulate that. Except the actual, this part here, I don't need to insulate that. And I also don't want anything to interfere with the, the lights. Here I've applied uh, epoxy to hold everything together. And then I'll just cover it with a layer of red tape as the previous one had on it. But before I can do that, I'll have to wait for the epoxy to dry. So here we have the finished product ready to be taped up. And uh, here's the, the illuminating part. So this will just screw right into uh, the socket in the refrigerator and it... Uh, will work and give lots of light, probably outlive the refrigerator. So now we have the light that's been put inside the refrigerator and it uh, works very well. There it is with the cover on it and it gives two or three times more light than it originally did with uh, the original bulb in there.